This is such a beautiful day. You haven't been through that, have you yet? No, it's beautiful. It's lovely. And I'll drive you around the front of the house. These are all the barns. You'll be able to walk around. They've got a very nice dog. He's not vicious at all. He's only six months old. So this is the pond. I guess they put away the uh, clothes. And this is the house. Oh, look what she's done. She's done all the grass and that for me. We're without water for three days, and we're just getting hey, everything Grandma, back Grandma, up and running. So Grandma, so beautiful. Um, just if you want to go up the stairs, just go under them. Just, just give go him a under. flip, Mom. Okay. Like right. tell him off because yeah. he's off. He, okay. he started to like to walk holding my hand. Yeah. Which is fine, but like the BC tones I hear yesterday, Bear came running up behind him and grabbed his arm, and the guy went, "Oh, <laughs> don't you bite me!" <laughs> Must oh, make him do what you tell him, Zach. Um, may I speak? Oh, there. That's very good. Oh, well, Throw it for him. Tell him to get it. Go, Like Halloween. It does. It looks oh, like Halloween. I set that up for Halloween too. Yeah. You set it up for Halloween. I just have to go get a pop for the guys downstairs. Yes, you go ahead because I'll show you around. Yes, oh, oh, things are a mess right now. Yeah. That's a normal mess of mine. He's happy to look around. Look at all the things I made. Oh, aren't you? That's great. Look at the pussies.
I'm in the wrong place. Are you? Should be out here. So what uh, Tina, how is um, Rachel doing with the uh, gymnastics or whatever it is, or the trampoline? Great. It's the most fun part. Uh, it, well, thank you. You're right. It's the best part, isn't it? Right here, we'll put this in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Candid camera. I mean, anybody from my era, 
I was born in 1950, so from 1948 on, I think who saw this film, who was young, wanted to dance after seeing this film. You know, as a child, I was mesmerized by the film. And then later when I grew up, I, I thought, you know, it's terribly unrealistic, this film, really. I mean, here she is, this ballerina, and you'll see she has to choose between the love of her art and the man she loves. And she's forced into this decision. And, and I guess I grew up in an age where, where this was not a thing we had to do. Although I was dancing in Monte Carlo, in the theater you're going to see in this film, and I had a, a long-term boyfriend who was a Frenchman, who lived in Cannes, and after a performance, a gala performance with Princess Grace one night, my parents happened to be there, he said to my father, Linda and I are going to be married and she's going to be dancing. It was him told me this. <laughs> so, um, my father was stunned. I was only about 22, 21, and he had not heard me say anything. They left the next day to go back to the United States. I had a 10-day holiday before. We only had 10-day dates, and we went straight into our first rehearsals with Rudolph Nureyev, mm -hmm. who I dreamed of dancing with since I was 11 years old and seen him in about 12 an hour. And he was my chance because I was cast to dance with him when he came to work with us. And there was, we were driving on the high corniche, and you'll see that road in this film, and there was Christian saying to me, you must marry me and you must quit dancing. And just like out of the movie, and I danced in that same theater. So I don't know, life sometimes mirrors art. Um, the book that I've written, I just wanted to very briefly, uh, I wrote for young adults. It is in language simple enough for 12 and up. But I think it's also for adults in that it is the first book written about Rudolph as seen through the eyes of a dancer. And maybe it's your sort of Reader's Digest edition because I've had to because of the age group I've been writing for, I had to synthesize down what were the most basic and important elements um, of his life, and also what did he pass to us, his knowledge, his secrets, um, that we knew needed not only in our professional careers, but in life itself. I know countless of people around the world, from Jacob Rothschild, the great financier, um, to film, movie stars to all kinds of people I met because of Rudolph and they will have all said to all we all say to each other he changed our lives he changed the way we conduct our lives just the things he said about how to conduct your everyday life um, and I've included some of that in the book too and and uh, so I think if the adults who read it will find those little tidbits throughout for instance he used to say you know we used to ask him how we could do it dance eight shows a week and he'd say oh it's just because energy creates energy and the harder you work, the stronger you become. So at night now, if I'm thinking, do I, am I going to sleep this kitchen floor or wait till tomorrow? I think, no, I'm going to sweep it tonight and I'll be that much stronger tomorrow. And I, so um, for those of you who have bought the book already and those who are interested in buying it, I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll learn something from it. And uh, it is, this proceeds will go to the Vancouver Valley Society for their scholarship. And uh, that's it. Thank you.